In this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can combine our new data source with the data inside the I model. Now, if you go back to our digital twin tree, we started with the I model of the house that we created in the first chapter, and then we added a new data source, which was a smart device database, which is a new branch on our digital twin tree. Now, the next step is combining these two data sources. For example, over here, we have bed 002. But if you look inside our model, there are three different bed elements. Which bed element does that data belong to? Now, each element inside an I model, including all our smart devices, have an e-sense ID that help us point out that device inside our model. If we look back at our list of smart devices, this is a query we wrote in the second chapter. We can see all the e-sense IDs for the devices. We also see the smart device ID. Now, this smart device ID matches up the IDs in the smart device database. As you can see here, bed 001, 002. Now this is what we call the common ID that helps us connect the iModel data with an outside data source. Now where do we get this common ID from? If we look back at the original DGN file, the design data that we started with, each element had a couple properties on it that pertain to the smart devices. These were the smart device ID and type. So that's where the IDs are coming from. We explicitly added these IDs in this design data to make sure we can connect it with the smart device database. Now, this is a very key requirement. Anytime you want to combine your design data with an outside data source on the Atwin platform, you do need a common ID to connect these data sources together. Thanks to this ID, in this case, we can figure out that uh, the bed 002 data belongs to the second bed on this picture, and we can use that eSynthesis ID to actually get to our bed element. So in summary, anytime you want to combine outside data with the data inside an I model, we need a common ID, which is a property on the elements that we want to connect with the outside data source. And in this case, that common ID is the smart device ID on our smart devices. And that wraps up Data Federation. We have fully integrated this new data source into our iTwin. And in the upcoming chapters, we're going to learn how we can present this data in a meaningful way on our iTwin. So I'll see you there.